I'm Justin yeah. Pugh. I'm traveling to every Thursday night football game to find the best fans in the NFL. Tonight, I'm with my family, the New York Giants, baby. Let's go! On every Thursday night game? Yeah. He goes, I feel naked without it. That's a game-saving run right there. You've lost a lot of weight. They yeah, keep saying I look like a slot receiver out here. I don't know if we're gonna bleep. We might bleep this whole thing out, but this is what we're dealing with tonight here in the parking lot. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. Guys, thank you for last week. It brought a little tear to my eye seeing all you guys drop the Save Pew Thursdays in the comments below. We are still sponsorless, but we have a lot of good conversations happen as a result of what you guys did. So I'm challenging you, be even better this week. Continue to drop the Save Pew Thursdays in the comments. Continue to share with your friends, continue to like. The YouTube videos have been going crazy. If you are the marketing department, PR, and you're trying to go on the craziest Super Bowl run with your boys, Hit us up, hit us up in the DMs. Let's get back to the game. Let's go see these Giants win on Thursday. So we are sticking with the challenges. Challenge one, to get Brian Dayball a sandwich from O'Bagel. I will explain more a little bit later, but we have to get him a sandwich. It is imperative. Challenge two, we have to plant the seeds for me to get back on the field and play football this year. We have to figure out a way to plant those seeds with Joe Shane, the general manager of the New York Giants. Challenge three, it's Thursday Night Football. We still haven't interacted with the Thursday Night Football crew. We have to get noticed by them, maybe even get on the set. That is our third challenge that we're trying to accomplish today. Stay tuned to see if we hit or we miss. We went three for three last week, and we do it again? Giants fans, I have a challenge for you. How can we let any other fan base outproduce us on this video? Get in the comments, get in the likes, share with a friend, make this video go viral. We've been getting carried by the Chiefs and the Jets fans the last few weeks. Miami Dolphins fans, where are you at? This is what I want you all to do. Drop your team below. Let's see who's carrying these videos, and we will see you in the comments. It's raining. New series alert. Critical review. We are finding athlete-owned businesses in the cities that we're in, and we are reviewing them. There's two rules, athlete-owned business, and we have to give a five-star review. Today, we're a pop-up bagel. It is owned by my neighbor. You might have heard of the guy, JJ Watt, pretty good football player. He has posted about this. He's invested in this. Let's go inside and check it out. I'm big, I'm big. All right, so what makes pop-up bagel so unique is this a rip and dip? There's no sandwiches in here. And I'm actually was starting to take my order and the founder and owner of Papa Bagel is back here working. Can you tell me, actually, let's do this real quick. I'm gonna give you the microphone. Yeah, sure. Give me a little background. You started this in your, you started this in your kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. Started this in my kitchen in uh, Westport, Connecticut. We were just having fun making bagels. We realized that what we were making was so much better than anything else we could get. So I just kept making them and making them and more people asked for them. And, set up a website popupbagels.com and next thing you know we've got you know eight locations four more on the way and a few pop-up locations as well and so you're just hanging out today you're just serving up bagels you're getting you're, you're in the you're in the trenches that's what this video is all about though i'm going in the trenches with the nfl play this you're you're the we're the same person right now we're the same person all right so we got to go we're getting everything we got to try it all so we got to do the scallion the butter cream cheese the miso butter they don't mess around here. Hot and hot and heavy. They're ready to roll. Oh my God! He's gonna make you take his shirt off. I'm gonna make you take his shirt off. Brandon Graham. Where? 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 Oh my God! Look at this. That's a stretch set. This is the. They're everywhere. The, they're everywhere. The, the Eagles fans are everywhere. We can't get look, rid of look, you guys. Look! Look! look. Oh this is how die hard I am. Look at that. Every, okay, so Anybody I, know what the Philly special is? Where yes. is that You're the Philly is. special on you yeah. too. Oh. No, not the not the ink of the play, but just the writing. I'm going to the Thursday night Philly game. Yeah. They're playing the Commanders in like a month from now. All my high school buddies are going to be there, and there's going to be a bunch of guys, like you and your boys, you and all your boys. It may not be you exactly, but it's you and your boys. A lot of your good friends got to be Eagles fans. They're all Eagles fans. So all my Eagles, my, all my buddies have Eagle tattoos. Yeah, they gotta, so that's how we are. I, I know so that's how you are. I'm crazy for having it, but all Eagle fans have it. Like, not not all of them, but a lot of them. Are the Eagles fans the craziest in the world? Well, I mean, we're, we're the most passionate. BG, we love you. I actually hate you at the same time. BG, go birds! <laughs> BG, I love you, man. 
Papa bagels. They're not famous, but they're known. All right, we got, this is, this is the thing that, 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 just a bagel, you just rip it, you can kind of hear that cracking. You got the salt going, the Butterfinger. Oh my God, my mouth's watering. Look at that. Shout out to our boy, Mr. East 305. You always gotta let the camera eat first. Delicious, I'll take 14 of them. They give me 14 of them right now. This is not legal. This is this is illegal in 30 of the 50 states. We're going to visit a friend. After, oh, oh shit. We're going to visit a friend today. We're bringing bagels to him. Stay tuned for who that is. I'm gonna crush the rest of this. Oh shit. What's up, man? Oh shit. Justin, pleasure to meet you. How are you? We didn't come empty handed. Okay. We got pop up bagel, we got okay. the smear, we got all this shit. Yes. I've never done it before. Oh, you haven't done it? I've, I've never done it. Ooh. I mean, I'm a Jewish guy, I know what a bagel is, but actually. This is the hat I need. <laughs> I can't take it off your head. Look at the, hold on, go down. That hat has been insane. It is time to get geared up. We struggled a little bit the last few episodes, but today we're at Mr. Throwbacks with my guy Mike. We brought the bagels, we came with the goodies. Now it's time to pick out a jersey. And this has been very controversial amongst the fans. Which jersey am I gonna wear? I could go old school, I might go new school. Who do you think I should wear? Who would you wear to the game? Let's go find a jersey. We're at Mr. Throwbacks. Do you want us just to just pull all Giants merch? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, so yeah. we'll do that. I'm collecting the mail. I got your mail. <laughs> This is, that one's That's crazy. Yeah, this is like Mr. Throwback's like personal collection. That is. Bananas, Nike makes it. I'm, the, that uh, thing is crazy, right? <laughs> oh, dude, I, how have I not been here yet? Oh you know, God. we have LT. LT is sick. Let's see what, Dave right, Nugget? On. I don't know why I have. Uh, yeah. The secret stuff, everybody needs the secret stuff for the game. I actually was talking about this on Series XM yesterday. This is for Christian McCaffrey. He went to Germany to get the secret stuff. We found it here in New York, Christian. You don't gotta go to Germany. It's right here at Mr. Throwbacks. That's right. I just gotta give a quick shout out to my Q's fam. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be getting both these home right now. Do we have any right other Q's stuff? This, this, we, we need. We need this Q's one right here. I live in Arizona, so I don't know how much I'm gonna wear this, but if I go back to Q's, you need that. You need that. You need that. I'm going, I haven't worn a hat yet. I Here's worn some a hat cool yet. ones. It's called the Sidewave. Sports Specialties made these. So we only sell everything from the original uh, time period. So how do you know like you what you're... Just knowledgeable in the game, just being this around it for so long. All these are coaches sick. hats. Yeah, they're sports specialties. Oh, shout out to David Tyree. Unbelievable. Syracuse legend. Is that the greatest catch Giants history? Yeah. Uh, no, or Odell. You. Odell. This is the most meaningful catch Correct. in Giants history. Best catch ever. Was Odell. Actually, no, this has to be this is a Super Bowl. Super Bowl? Yeah. But yeah. Like, the most athletic feet catch was the Odell. Yeah. Man. Talk. You, you could wear that, right? I could, well, 100% could yeah. wear my boy Talk. All right, here, we're getting into the jerseys Hampton, Brown. Can you wear a Dave? Bavaro. Oh, I've got yeah. a lot of Bavaro. I've got a lot of Bavaro tweets. You have nice Travis Scott's on. What are you gonna wear oh, no. on the feet? What size are you? Do you want to borrow my sneakers? I got. I'm a thir 14. I'm a 13 too. Are you a Giants fan? I am. Oh my God. Which jersey should we wear today to the game? Let's see. Right, are hold you on, going hold on, to God. the game tonight? I'm going to the Yanks game. We got to. It's playoffs. It's playoffs. Well, we got. We're gonna take the we division need, today. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right. If you were know. if you were going to the Giants game, so I used yeah, to play for the Giants. Nice to meet you. That's. Justin Pugh. Yeah, offensive yeah, line. I know you are. <laughs> well, I look a little smaller, so yeah, we should we should we could have played that one out a little, a little bit better. Bit I'm doing a, a series where I go to every Thursday night game. Okay. So the Giants Sweet. are this week. I wore yeah. I wore a Nick Mangold jersey last week. Giants fans gave me some shit. Yeah, that's tough. That's Am tough. I allowed back into the Giants? 100. percent You guys, I'm <laughs> we back. might need you to put on a few pounds and get out there on the uh, line. I know. Can we burn season? jerseys live oh, on the The Jets internet? fans do it. The Jets fans burn jerseys this is every dope. week. AP. That is dope. Signs. Pro Bowl. Signed by AP. AP might have to sell that right now. He might need that back. What else do we got? Who's a player that you would have loved to play with? I don't know. LT. Can we ask you questions? Yeah. <laughs> if I could play with any giant of all time, obviously Lawrence Taylor's yeah. on there. But I would have loved to play with that offensive line unit. Sneed, Deal, David Boss, Kevin Booth, that. We actually have a signed pair of David Deal cleats. 
Let's just, can we get them? Can yeah, I, I believe them? they're up there. Oh, Maybe you can. Yeah, they're in the I'm back. Gonna, I'm going to wear David yeah, Deal cleats to the game. Right there. See him? <clears throat> my little boss, Dave. Two time Super Bowl champ, David Deal. Shout out to my guy, David Deal. No, he took the insoles out. He took Come the insoles. On, David. I might wear these to the game. <laughs> you rock those. Yeah. I think this is the outfit That's the that we're fit. going Look with. Look at that fit. Now, there's one thing that we still need a hat. A hat. Yeah. You want to borrow this too? <laughs> so hold on now. You've talked about Wait. buying things off people's person. Sure. If this hat was to be sold, what's the price for the hat? Ooh, I don't know. You want to make me an offer? What should we offer for the hat? What are you guys paying for this hat right here? It's original Apex from the movie. Probably I've only seen one. I don't know how much is this hat worth? This is your business. It's so dope. It is my business. Yeah. Figure out, we gotta Tony, figure this out. Tony, you're the hack guy. What, what would you ask on this? Tony knows. Do we want to say it off camera and then we can bring it back in? No, we want live, real thing. Oh, I would keep it for that. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I was gonna say 300 for the hat. 300 bucks. Wow. It's 300 Fair. for the hat. Like it's, it's got. Would you sell it all day? I'm a Jets fan. They didn't make no movie about the Jets with little kids. So well, it, my thing is, it's the Giants, the Cowboys tonight. It is. This hat yeah. has to be at the game. It has to be at the game. This hat has to be at the game. We also don't have a sponsor for this, so it's just like- Sponsored by Mr. Throwback. <laughs> well, no money involved. As of right now, like, sponsors, we need you. Throwback? We keep I keep spending money sponsors and I don't have a sponsor. So I just keep spending. I no think we sponsor got, yet? We're working through it. We're working through it. We're, oh we're a startup. We're hungry. All right, I'm hungry too. What kind of food are they feeding us? Pop tonight? up bagels. That's a, that's a wrap. We got an outfit. Look at us. We're ready to go. <laughs> we're ready to go and stay tuned for the jersey. We got the jersey. We know I'm just not showing it right now. This is the walking around, get ready for the game outfit. We got the jersey coming to you at MetLife. This is what we're wearing to the game. That's it's not cold with. enough though. I don't we're know. We're ready for tonight. We're gamers. We got it. We did it. I don't know if this is a buy, a barter. We got it on for now. I had to switch the shoes back because they were getting a little tight, so my, my, my big toe was hurting. Let's go. Naked Cowboy. Cowboy, are you a fan of the Cowboys or are you Giants all the way? Are we talking about the Dallas Cowboys? Well, I'm from Cincinnati, so it's who day. Do it. In the last game I saw, I saw the icky shuffle. Naked Cowboy, Bengals fans, you heard it here first. Can I, can I, can I try the guitar on for size? Yeah, I'll get your pants, you get the shirt. Exactly. I ain't going, I ain't going naked just yet, man. Oh. But we're gonna, we'll get there. We'll get, we'll get there. Hold on. I don't know. I don't know if I can wear the Cowboys gear today. Look at us. Look at Good us. Good night, right everybody. Now. Hold on. Still naked without it. He goes, I feel naked without it. <laughs> so what do you do now? Yeah, so I'm going to every Thursday night game to find the best fans in the NFL. Yep. So we got to get his breakdown because he has the cowboy hat on, but we're in New York City. Naked cowboy, who do we have tonight? Is it, well, hold it. It's the Giants versus and, the Cowboys. Oh, of course. I'm, look, I've been in New York for 26 years. Giants all the way. I'm the naked cowboy. NYC all the way. Send them other cowboys wearing all those clothes. Get out of our way. You heard it here. Giants tonight, baby. All right, so everybody knows the viral Jay-Z clip where he's coming down the stairs, going to his own show, Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Former New York Giant here. I'm in Times Square. Got to hit the subway, take the train to the game. All the fans are gonna recognize me. I mean, I'm in even Giants gear, so I'm giving them a little bit of heads out. Shout out to our, our guys, two friends. We saw you do this video, so we're gonna do the same thing. Let's go, come on. All right, so let's talk about challenge number one. We are going to O Bagel, which I brought to the New York Giants facility every Friday during the season last year when I was straight off the couch. Justin Pugh, straight off the couch. Now there is one bagel in particular at this restaurant that Coach Brian Dayball 
couldn't live without. We didn't start meetings until he had this bagel on Friday. They are still getting the sandwiches delivered up until this point. Our goal is to bring this bagel to coach and we're gonna have them break it down for us what that is and get it to him today before the game. Here is the famous O bagel, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. Well, we're gonna park right here. And we're here, just like that. Hi, I'm here with my boy Steven from Oat Bagel. I've known 10 years. Yeah, it's been a while, man. It's been eight. Eight on the dot, but I like that you think we've been known I round up, I we round up, I round up. So this is the unofficial bagel of the New York Giants. I would get it every Friday. I'd be stressing him out. I'd be like, yo, we need the bagels for Friday. They have to be here. We always made it happen. We're gonna get a little behind the scenes how these bagels are made because he does it all. Does it all here. Of course, baby. We're doing Jersey Water Hoboken O Bagel with the official, unofficial bagel of the New York Giants. Let's go. It's not a bagel, it's so bagel. Kettle boiled, whole bulk and water, nice and hot. What's like the go, like what, what is different between this and how? Honestly, the, the main thing is that the, it's, boiling the water is, creates the crispiness of the bagel. That's what's key of boiling bagel. So we're boiling this bad boy down. And then the other secret trick. Don't give away, don't give away all the secrets. Bro. It's the, it's the secrets, it's the tree, you're not gonna be able to get it anyways. Here we go, this is, uh, so what we do is we put them on cedar planks actually, so the, the aromas. You heard like a cedar plank like salmon? Yes. So we actually bake our bagels on cedar plank wood. So the aromas of that cedar wood goes into the bagels, so it's like another extra flavor profile for the bagels. And when I opened a bagel when I was 25, that you were like one of our first customers, bro. And uh, really, I, owe you, I really do appreciate you, bro. Because yeah, you always called me last minute and stuff, but I was like, it was an honor to feed the New York Giants, dude. He always treated me like every other person, bro. And you're, you're always that guy, for real. I'm getting goosebumps. There we go, baby. You think it's going to be a warm and fuzzy family no, affair? I am. The day ball special, coming in hot. Bring it over, bang. Come on now, you kidding me? If we're not getting a W after this, I don't know how we yeah. are. Hot, everything, bagel, steak, egg and cheese, peppers and onions. With our homemade O sauce, you kidding me? We ain't messing around today, <laughs> Let's baby. Oh, go, kid. I'm gonna wrap this up for you, big dog. This is the package we've been waiting on, folks. This is for Coach, this is for Dave, this is the pregame meal. This is what he needs to go out there and fuel up to beat these Cowboys today. Let's go, baby. That's the love, my dog. Let's go. Appreciate you. Much love. Enjoy your we're, trip, people. We're coming for you, Coach. Let's go. Let's go, G-Man. They got us. Welcome to New York. This is one of the negatives we didn't experience with the Jets, but be prepared to pay your parking tickets. They're always gonna get you. 35 bucks. All right, let's go to the game. All right, we got the package. We're heading to the game. The fans are here. Thursday night's bumping. The train is rocking. It's time to go get a win now. It's all that's left. Giants win. Deliver the sandwich, get a win. We'll see you at the MetLife. They never let me throw the ball. That's why they didn't let you throw the ball. This is what happens when you're with the mayor, baby. The mayor. Hell yeah. My man. What's up, baby? What do we think is going to be the score of the game tonight? 24-17. Uh, Let's go, Blue. That was my, that's my blue. prediction. That's, I, knew, I, knew, I knew you were a genius. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Respect the guy that respects the O-line. You turn around, shows who you got. John Michael Schmidt. It's the real, it's the real deal right here. I passed this tailgate a hundred times going to the games. That's how we're feeling tonight, baby. That's how we're feeling tonight. Dallas sucks. Thanks for everything, man. Oh my God, we gotta get these guys out of here. A Cowboys fan right here. Hey, Cowboys Nation, what's the deal? What's the deal? All right, so we've been running around. It's been madness, but we didn't get a chance to stop and say, what 
is up with the license plate? How'd it come to be? Yeah. Everyone's stopping you. This is it's crazy to see out here. It must be crazier to, to feel, but tell me the start of the story. So it's fun. So, you know, when I was 16, I knew what I wanted. I wanted G1 ants on a plate, the first one. It's still on my car to today, but my dad asked me to uh, take it off and wear it to a game. And I was like, I'm not gonna wear my license plate guy. To, I'm not gonna wear it to a game. He dared me, I wore it. Giant fans are very superstitious. So, you know, one became two and now we got 111. 111. Hey, I'm just telling you right now, we're walking around this parking lot. The mayor, the mayor. I know we're, I know we're a little nervous about saying the net, but the fans are already lined up around, man. We got them all. League, baby! We hate Dallas, baby! We hate Dallas, baby! League! The, the, the tinfoil went off in security, but he was allowed to bring the sandwich in. We got the sandwich in. That was a close call. Alex almost got busted. We're making it. It's making its way. Something feels good about getting this sandwich to coach. All right, it's time for the big reveal. It's time to show you what jersey we're rocking. Let me go put it on. Let me go grab it real quick. All right, guys, here's the jersey reveal. LT's trenches all day long. I miss Dave's. I got to get him later with the bagel. We'll find him next time. We got, got a little messed up with the field passes today, but we're going to make it happen. Maybe at halftime, we'll sneak it into him. All right, guys, it was our first failure of our challenges. We are 0 for 1 so far. We didn't get Dave all his sandwich. What are we going to do? We got to get him next time. You can't win them all. We got put on the wrong side. We have a lot of, lot of excuses. You know what? No excuses. Play like a champion. We failed. Next time. Used to be me, baby. We got the we got the offense coming out right now. Let's go, DJ. Let's go, DJ. Guard number 67, Justin Pugh. Everyone thinks I played slot corner, but I played left tackle for this team last year in the NFL. Love to follow your YouTube channel. Net worth with Justin Pugh. All right, guys. I'm sitting next to a Cowboys fan, Anthony. Great guy, though. He did remind me that the Cowboys beat us 40-something to something last year. We're up 3-0. Anthony, how are you feeling about tonight? I think we're going to win. What's the score going to be? 27-17. Uh, uh, if you would have said three, I would have been very yeah. disrespected. Yeah. All right, 27 17. Dallas isn't that good this year. All right, what, do I, what, what did I have? 24-17. 24-17 Giants, obviously. All right, he's been a good sport so far. Dresden, he's coming for your spot, Dresden. All right, we're 7-3. Dallas is uh, bullshit. But we're driving right now. We're about to tie this thing up. I'm about to take the lead. Giants are looking good. Malik Neighbors looks good. Daniel Jones made a great play. Wondell Robinson. About to get six right here. My boy Anthony keeps talking trash all game. It's his first NFL game. We love him there. Field goal. I think that's what you're going to come away with here. Field goal. Oh. He's a good tackle. Field goal. Field goal. Field goal. All right. All right. All right. Take the points. You take. You always take the points. Ah, you don't always, but you take the points here. That was the first field goal Maybe of the game we'll last year, wasn't it? We blocked your field I goal. I know you're not going to block this one. Okay. I see. This is a good sport, Anthony. Score is a score. Score is a score. Score is a score. Points are points. here the momentum the morale is gonna be at all-time high I think we go for two if we get this too kick a field goal get him get him let's go hold him to three get a touchdown win the game win 
the game. Let me see how my boy Anthony's doing. Anthony, how are you feeling about the I'm game? I'm good. Uh, Hello. We've been holding you to field goal, so we're up by what, four points now? Okay. So I think we're going to win. We're getting our first touchdown this drive. Update on the game. we got seven minutes left. Giants are down five. It's 20 to 15. They get a touchdown, which they haven't done all day, but they move the ball, they win the game. 23 20 Giants win. That's my final prediction. Number two, we have one challenge left. It's to get noticed by the Thursday night football crew. We got to make our way down there after this and go get noticed. Now let's get back to this last drive. Come on now. Let's go, Giants. Let's go. The fans are wild around us. The energy is electric. This is our game. You gonna stand up or what? Come on. You gonna stand up or what? Let's go. You gonna stand up or what? Let's go. You gonna stand up or what? Let's go, Big Blue. Oh no, oh no. This is the play of the game. Quiet down. <laughs> Unfortunately, Micah Parsons just got hurt. 20 to 15, it's fourth down, biggest play of the game. Fourth and six, ball at the 45. Just make or break. We either, we either win it or we're losing on this play. but I don't, I don't think he maintains control. Say a prayer at home. I don't feel good about it. Look at Anthony. Hell yeah. I thought he had it. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. That's my man. That was my man. This was my man. I had a blast. Oh my God. He had him. He had him. Oh. He had him down the sideline. 22 seconds left, second and 10. Interception. He threw the 50-50 ball to Jalen Hyatt. They fought. They fought. We had a chance. If you would have told me we'd be down five with the ball at midfield with 30 seconds to play, I would have taken it. On to the next. We'll be back. Challenge two, Andy, did I sign a contract today with the Giants? We did not sign a contract today. We need something. All right, we're over two in our challenges. We got to go try to get the third. We got to go try to get a shout out from the Thursday Night Football guys. Come on, let's do something right tonight. All right, we're over here at the Thursday night crew. It's packed with Cowboys fans. I either got to try to make my way down there or we're going 0 for 3. It's looking like an 0 for 3 night. One thing I hate more than anything is like trying to squeeze into the tight crowds. This could be a, an L. Alex is not happy that I won't jump over all these fans to get down there. He's the, he's the real YouTuber here. He's the one who needs his own show. Fitz, Fitz, Fitzy, Fitz, what up, man? Uh oh, uh, we might be getting one. I just say what up, man. I just need game, man. You guys killed it tonight, man. I'm good. I'm good. Stay warm. Good. See you soon. Don't tell me. Hey, we got it. We gave up. We ain't giving up hope, but we got Fitz. Alex, Alex, there is nobody happier than this guy right now. I was not letting us walk out with three L's on the nut. Four he's saying, he's the saying this. Drop a W in the comments. Drop the dubs for Alex. Drop the dubs for Alex in the comments. We're at Prince Street Pizza, my boy Dom Spot. We love it. After a long night, Giants lost, you gotta get pizza. That's what you come for right there. That's what it's all about right there. That is the best pizza in New York City. It's where all these people are lined up outside. All right, so we gotta rank this thing. And if you watched last episode, you kind of know how we feel about the city, S tier all the way. There's no city like New York. We get to the food, 
We saw Prince Street, Pop-Up Bagels, O Bagel, everything we tried today was top notch. You're not getting any better food anywhere else on planet Earth, S tier. Then we get to the stadium. We talked about the stadium last week. It's a football stadium. If I was gonna put the stadium somewhere, I wish, this is just my personal belief, I wish like the Giant Stadium was attached to Manhattan. It was like the New York City. I wish the Jets were out where the Mets are. For me, I wish the stadium was separate. I don't love having them share in a stadium. And then when it comes to the fans, like this is where my bias comes in. Like I had such an unbelievable time with you guys today. I got to see all the fans that have supported me throughout the year, showed me so much love. So like for me, it's unfair to even rank the scenario because through my eyes, this is the this, off the charts for me so we're putting like a a pew asterisk on this one we put this one off to the side All right, we have to cut to the office i needed a few days to stew on it i was flying back i was talking to my producer and videographer and we were just talking through the game and comparing it to other games that we have been to and I, I decided i had to put a ranking i didn't feel good about like putting it off to the side not putting a ranking that's not fair to the fans that's not fair to the series and as Giants family and as alumni and a player that's put his heart and soul into this organization, I thought it wasn't fair to give, you know, the full honest review and some of the things that I thought and things that I think that we can do better as a fan base, as a team, all of the above. And I'm, I'm including myself in that as well. Number one, I think when it comes to the tailgate, not having the optimism for the game or maybe the season that a lot of people um, were, were potentially lacking in this in this environment. I think the weather might have has a little bit to do with it, but in terms of the tailgate, there was a lot of people that were talking about maybe some draft picks or, you know, we don't have a chance to win tonight. There's a lot of Dallas Cowboys fans there as well. And I think that just goes to show like when you're not winning games, the optimism isn't there as much. And it, it takes just one game or one season because if I look at the Jets game the week before, the fans had all the optimism in the world. The weather was great. So the tailgate was 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 very, very high level. And then, you know, obviously I was taking pictures half the time too. So I didn't get to get around to all the tailgates. So I definitely take part of that on myself um, in terms of, of the tailgate and that night. And then when we, once we get into the stadium, this is where I think we can make the biggest jump and, and continue to improve. The one thing I didn't love is people constantly telling you to sit down. Oh, stand up or what? If it's third down, like we need to be standing up. We need to be cheering on the team. The Cowboys fans were doing it when they were in third down and people are arguing when the, when the Giants are in third down. Like, no, if it's second and long or it's a, it's momentum is needed for the Giants. Like speaking from a player that's on the field, we have to be up, we have to be yelling. And I didn't love that fans were like complaining about sitting down for the entire game. Like it's a football game. When I was at the Chiefs, you didn't even need a seat in that game because you were standing the entire time. Now, I know the Chiefs have just won a Super Bowl and, and there's a lot more optimism amongst those fans right now, but I still think that we can be standing more during the game. Uh, maybe we prompted on the Jumbotron, whatever the case may be. Number two, and this is something that I've talked about on social media, we need a chance. Something that no matter what's going on in the game, we can throw something up on the Jumbotron, we can throw license plate guy, or we can do celebrity shout outs. If you have someone at the game that uh, is there, that's a celebrity, uh, you know, think about some of the folks that were there during my time. I remember one time LL Cool J was on the sideline. You get some of these people, get a Sopranos guy up there on the screen and have them lead us in some type of a chant. I know we've done like a G men or big blue wrecking crew. Someone even talked about having some giants on the jumbotron and like they're kind of marching in, they're coming in intimidating. It's like fee, fi, fo, fum, big blue wrecking crew. Something along those lines that we have like this rallying cry I think back to the Chiefs, even just like their chop or the Jets, the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. It's just, a, it's something that the people can rally behind, whether you're up, whether you're down, you always will have it. You're always supporting your team. And I think not having that leads to like a, a low in morale or like quiet times during the stadium where other places that I've been have just continued to kind of keep that energy high. Um, so those, those are the two things that I really think we can improve upon. And I know the Giants, and trying to do like back in the New York groove. It's like if we can all sing it and get behind it and have that moment where we're going to be all in this together, that's the one thing. We have to find a way to bring all of us together. And I've just seen on social media, there's definitely uh, some negativity going on on that side of things. 
regardless if the Giants are winning and losing, do we want to be miserable until February? I think we can rally around it and try to continue to push that. And as the team progresses, I know some of these things I'm mentioning can progress. So I, I just figure I'm family. I didn't want to put us off to the side. In the official rankings, I'm still going. The Chiefs are number one. The Jets I had in A tier. I'm keeping them A tier. I'm putting the Giants at a, at a B plus, right? Right below the Jets, above Miami. There's a few things that we can do. The game itself was super entertaining. I actually had to give a credit to the Cowboy fan, Anthony, that I was sitting next to. He made the game enjoyable. We had good back and forth. Um, but I think there's room to get better. And as we get better and get better at supporting the Giants, they're looking better on the field. They're going to continue to improve. I think we all can win in that scenario. But I just didn't feel right not giving an honest review, an honest ranking. And, and, and that's it. That's where we sit. And, and we got a review and we're moving on to next week.